Hello everyone. <coughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Gilbo's gaming channel. I'm Braven and this is Jurassic World Evolution. Now, since last time we um I played on a little bit just to basically get a couple more Struthiomimus in here. As you can see we are heavily populated. They are cheap and cheerful and they have a very good population and social. So we added a few more of them that completed a contract uh, of getting five dinos. Let's shut that gate before someone goes through there. Um, yep, we've done that. We ended uh, Storm Defense Station here, uh, which should protect quite a large area of our fences and also our ranger stations so that will help and prevent when there is a power outage or hopefully there won't be um, but normally the power kicks out the um, ranger station the Ooh, well that was easy we did just take on that contract Ooh, got a toy shop so yeah we took out a new contract which said unearth a major fossil um, and it looks like we've just done it so that that was good also, oh, I've got some good news. Now, we had a little bit of um, a sort out over here with a research center, fossil center, expedition, and what did we find? Let me show you. Uh, in our fossil center, we've been working on something a little bit new. So let's sell that one. That's rubbish. Oh, the Velociraptor. Now these are very dangerous animals, as you well know by watching all the movies, um, but they earn you loads of money because they're so dangerous. If I remember, if I remember rightly, you have to have four of these uh, in a pack. If you have any less, then you're going to have park problems. So where I found this one was all the way over here. Can I move this? Yes. Alright, we've got Velociraptors over here. This new Ooh. contract could prove valuable to the security division. Um, okay, we're gonna do that because we've been neglecting our security system for a little while. Yeah, anyway, we've got Dilophosaurus, um a couple of new little herbivores there that I can't pronounce out of the name because uh Hyungosaurus and a Chunkinosaurus. Uh, Dilophosaurus on their own, so if we want to work on those. Same with Velociraptor, which I am plumbing everything into at the moment. And uh, purely because I want them. They're my favourite. Off you go. Go get me some more fossils so I can do some stuff. <laughs> right. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to complete that contract. How much do I earn? Well, that's not a lot. That's not a lot at all. It's only 65,000. Triceratops cost me more than that. Let's see how much they cost. Oh, God. I will be quids out. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep that contract rolling. Uh, because I do... Oh, look at them. Oh, wow. They move in herds. They do move in herds. Look at that. That is beautiful. Every now and then you get a nice little glimpse of, oh, look at them, they're amazing. See how well our, where's he gone? Don't get in there. Where did you go? Is he in here? Oh, that's a panic. He's alright, we could put another friend in there just to earn a bit more money. Um, should we do that? Yes, let's go ahead and build another Ceratorus. They're a lot of money, but they make you a lot of money. If the incubation don't fail like it did on the first one, this should bring us in a nice little tidy profit. Now, we did just unlock the toy shop. Let's see how much the toy shop is. We haven't got any restrooms. That's probably something we should keep an eye on because uh, I know there's a lot of trees and people are probably peeing in the bushes, but I don't want that. I want normality in my park. Um... And we're probably going to extend that this way, to be honest. So I'm going to... Yes! I want that shop right there. So what I'm going to do in preparation for our new shop when we get the money is build a little little path. Do a little bit of redirecting. Oh, come on. Is that the right path? 
probably help if I... That is not the right path. That is... Yes, it is. My dear. Right, let's... Um, let's curve this round. Or, better yet... Didn't we have a cut through here before? Let's do this. Straight to this bit. Um, hopefully don't run out of money. Alright, so that's through there. And now I can go ahead and delete this little bit. Because I want my other shop to run in there somewhere, pretty much parallel with the other shops. I like it looking neat. I like it looking neat. So I'm going to get ahead. Be careful not to delete the fence. Boom. They can get to that. Uh, we will obviously join that onto there eventually. I just want to put my new shop in first. So will it. Oh, how much is it first? Can I afford it? We've got the new fence that we researched as well, which is heavy steel. Um, yes, they'll be good for the Velociraptors. Yes, they're very expensive. Um, you do get a, con a concrete one at a later date, but we will definitely... <gasps> let's build it. Um, we'll definitely be doing that as well. Uh, getting our Velociraptors, getting the genome up and running. Let's zoom in here. Still trying to work with the mouse. Boom. There we go. Uh, perfect, I think. Maybe not, but we'll work with it. That's fine. It's all in a nice row. Now, how do I... I don't want to curve, please. But he's still going to curve it anyway. So we're going to drag it past, like we said before. There we go. Perfect. We can always rejoin that back up there. That's not going to harm. But we, oh, we're doing really good. I'm happy. The dinos are happy. Everything is looking amazing. Um, is is he ready? Is he ready? Let's open that gate. Let's find out. Come on. Nearly. You're going to earn us an absolute wedge. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I love them. They are so good for simplicity. They cost next to nothing. They look great. They get a track, uh, people in. No qualms whatsoever. Let's get you a friend, though, because you look a bit lonely. Now, eventually I will open this up, like I mentioned before, into a whole herbivore area. That will give them the population, the space that they need. And uh, we'll get rid of this electric fence, neaten it all up a little bit. <gasps> but here he comes. Come on, I've got you a friend. Got you a little friend. There he be. Now remember, mate, you're not the alpha. The other one is. So he might want to chomp on you. In you go, come on. What's their food supply like? That's alright. We have enough money to back us up there. Right. Well, things are looking good. Uh, we're going to head over to when he goes through there. Come on. Through you go. I want to close this gate. Cool, if I open the wrong one. That's one thing you've got to be very careful of. If you open the wrong gate, you've lost your dinos. Unless you... Oh. He is an alpha. Wow. Okay. That's the maximum population uh, social they can have anymore, and they're going to start being unhappy and breaking through gates, which we don't want. All right, our fossil team is back. Let's see if we can work on these Velociraptors a little bit more. I think it's sixty percent their genome has to be over in order for us to breed them, but that's fine. We're going to work hard. Let's send them out again to the same place. And see if we can get some more. And off you go, Velociraptor. Now, let's build an enclosure to house our Velociraptors. Now, this space here, I have every single time I've played it, I have always made the dangerous part. I think I had a T Rex in there at one point. Um, Velociraptors. And yeah, this is the bit I want them to be as far away from the main flow of guests as possible um, so I can quickly when things go horribly wrong Hello, 
Oh, reset. Okay, we'll accept that as an income um, challenge, so we will definitely have that. Yeah, I like to keep everything dangerous in this little bit here. Uh, possibly get a nice little ranger and AC center, ACU center over here as well. So, let's go ahead with our really expensive heavy steel fencing and get ourselves a velociraptor enclosure. Now these, I want everyone to see these. So I'm going to make a nice little pathway all the way around. Uh, nice viewing towers. These are going to be my pride and joy. If we can do it. We're just going to... Oh, too expensive. You would be. And you know why? Because they're really heavy fences. So... While we're doing that, let's go ahead and work on the land. Wait for the money to build up a little bit more. Let's take down some of these trees so we can see where we're building. Bigger radius, please. Right, perfect. Now, Velociraptors will like some trees. Uh, th they're quite hard to keep on top of, really. Um, so, yeah. I swear we're getting money for that. No, we're not. We're losing it. Um, so, yeah, they are very tricky to keep hold of. I'm going to need to put a Hammond Lab in here somewhere. And I'm, I'd like to keep it out of the way. Have this all as my little pathway round. A couple of viewing towers. Nice little uh, goat in there I think we're going to get. A uh, live feeder. Uh, that'll keep things sweet. Uh, make them stretch their legs a little bit. Oh, back it comes. You're going to have a nice little fossil for me to extract. And yeah, we will obviously relocate them into the dangerous part at some point. Ooh, one thing we didn't do. As we're working on income, we're going to up this to RC Saurus for 14. We're going to put it up to 28. Double the money. Keep the staff. Um as low as possible that'll do lovely uh, one thing that would help with guest count is obviously a nice hotel but I think they're very expensive in this one let's have a little look uh, where are we hotel 750,000 too much but I can afford a toilet so let's go ahead and drop one in there you can now go for a pee. That's a lot of people to a little pee station, but I'm happy. We've got one. Money's good. Everything's really going well at the moment. Just need a little bit more money to obviously extract a bit more of these. Oh, no, I don't want that. Sorry, let's fossil center. You fossils. Aha, that's what we were looking for. That'll take most of our money up, but we can get back quite a bit with this ore and we can launch that one so the genome is ready for the velociraptor obviously the better genome it is the the better the dino but we've got enough let's go ahead and finish our enclosure fence and in the next one we're going to put hopefully if we put this bit down here as we could have a couple of shops as well. Um, there we go. Right now, this is probably too big a space for them, but we'll work with it for a moment just so we can. God, a drain's your money. 29,000 just for that stretch here. 29 grand. Would you pay that in real life for a fence? Yeah, I don't know. Possibly not. Right, so what else can we do in this little episode? I think I think we've done pretty good. We're just going to keep building up. Um, now we've got the cash flow going, and I hope that tip helped uh, from last time uh, with the fossil center using the other one. There we go. We've completed there. Um, but if you struggle for cash, we're doing all right because our flow is quite good. We've just got to sit around and let it build up a little bit. Uh, but if you do struggle, go back to the other map and uh, do it again. You know, ex uh, use the money from the first map, 
get loads in your fossil center make sure it's empty first um, or you could sell like we've got a struthium imus in there which you can sell but you're not you're not really going to boost up big monies these guys will um, but I'd like to say we get that to 100% while we can dig them up and then if we come across any after their 100% we can then obviously sell them on and make a, a, a little bit of money uh, the ores are worth a lot more so it's always worth heading for those uh, what research have we got available uh, we've got the long view tower uh, which we will get We've just got to let that money build up again. Um, Hanuman Creations, success rate 2. That would be something very handy with the Velociraptors, especially being low genome. Uh, I think it all plays part in that as well. And what have we got here? Medical Trait. This could be something uh, we'd research sooner rather than later uh, for the Campylobacter bacteria. Um, research. We've got a couple of these as well, traits uh, that we can add to our Velociraptors. Uh, some maybe lifespan, which that one is. Uh, so that might be something uh, make our dinos last longer. Because um, we had a couple of deaths in the last one. Um, Ed, rest his soul, he didn't make it. And fossils. Also, we can research into new fossils and get that. We're probably going to hit that in the next episode. In this one we're just going to let the money flow a little bit. Uh, Ham and Creation Lab I think is 300. Let's have a look. 400. I think that was 300 in the last one. But we got viewing towers so let's go. Going to need a substation for that one. But this all goes towards guest counters, uh, guest uh, happiness and revenue. Uh, more angles you have on it, the more money you'll make. So let's go here. Link this up. We're going to put a little substation down here. And try and keep it close to the fence. Not too fussed because I will be doing a little bit of modelling around at a later date. So let's drop a little substation down in there doesn't matter where really as long as it's in the same range as this will that fit in that cap? Oh, will you fit? yes perfect and like these I do like to keep these hidden but oh we've got an outbreak uh, that's going to probably spread pretty quick no I don't want to add a new team press the wrong button let's hurry up and get we might as well top these up as well um, after he's hopefully treated that one no problem. come on don't spread I don't know if they contract it when they're drinking water or if they're in close vicinity but having that many struthiomimuses is going to be a bit of a hard hit if they all contract it and all die and this ranger guy is going to have his work cut out so as soon as you see that notification at the top of the screen head out get it neutralized as quickly as possible that way you haven't got to worry about it. Disease outbreak controlled. Beautiful. So the park is doing really well. Everything's going really smoothly. And that concludes our next episode of Jurassic World. Now next time, like I said, we're going to put the expedition center in here. Get this all ready for our new Velociraptors. Uh, I'm going to let the money build up a little bit more. Hopefully get a couple of shops around here as well uh, to increase our profit and also keep this well I might make enough room back here to do the whole split gate with the uh, if we get a t-rex or for uh, ceratoruses we're going to stick them in the danger zone link it all up and um, keep an eye on our power stations possibly put another one in there and also get a nice little hotel up here keep it out of the way and yeah probably get an ACU and a ranger station down the danger zone as well we still have all this area over here to expand in which goes into this bit as well so that could be something uh, we've got the monorail but we just need to buy it. I think that was two million and um, so yeah we could put a nice little monorail in here and put different sections of the park in but for now things are looking sweet 
So, uh, yeah, that concludes this one. So if you've enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notifications so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, enjoy, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.